Hello, good evening. Um, as you can probably tell from the lighting, if you're keeping on these things, it is night time because I'm not glowing. You do need some tea though, excuse me. Cheers. Mm. So, um, if you watched yesterday's videos, thank you. Um, but also, I did finally work out where I thought that um, the Eshka pictures with the, the stairs going every which way um, was called Kesha Valley. It wasn't, it was called, um, damn, that was called like Mirror Dimensions. I don't know, it, was, it had a sort of relativity or something like that. But there is an Eshka picture, which is more of a traditional, you know, print of like a city on the side of a mountain. And that is called Castro Valva, and that is where the Doctor Who episode got its name from. So I was right, there is an Eshka picture called Castro Valva, but it wasn't the, the stairs one. So there you go. So I, do, I know stuff. It, it knocks around in here and you know, finds its way out in, in um, lots of different weird ways. So there you go. Um, yeah, the main reason it's been uh, a bit late today is because it's a lazy Sunday. And by lazy Sunday, I mean I have watched four movies today. They are all films I've seen before, um, old favourites. Um, they were In Order, Return to Me, <sighs> Doc Hollywood, Chances Are, Excuse Me, and The Cat's Meow. Um, and I was telling Erin about this, he goes, oh, I'm sensing a theme. Like, I was like, what's that? Um, Sophie Romance or, uh, you know, film starring my boyfriends. And aside from the Casimir, which isn't actually a romantic comedy, yeah, they all do. But Return to Me is David Duchovny. Um, Doc Hollywood is Michael J. Fox. Um, yeah, Chances Are is uh, Robert Downey Jr. Baby Bobby. And um, Casimir uh, is Eddie Izzard playing Charlie Chaplin. So there you go. But like I say, Cat's Meow isn't, isn't really romantic. I mean, there's, there's, there's love and romance in it, but it's not a rom-com. It's, it's definitely a drama. It's Peter Bogdanovich. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, I do recommend. It's got a really good cast. Um, besides Eddie, there's um, Carrie Alwes, Kirsten Dunst, Joanna Lumley. Uh, the old guy playing um, Hurst is quite famous, but I never remember his name. And yeah, so people you kind of go, oh, that guy. Oh, um, Jennifer Tilly's in it. So I do recommend it. I recommend all of those films I've watched today, but I do recommend that one especially. It's one of those weird ones. Um, it came out on came out on DVD stateside um, a while back. Then it finally got a, a limited um, screening. Uh, like I say, limited. I think it was only on a couple of nights at the Prince Charles. Um, but that was cool because I went along to that. Um, obviously I already owned it on the, on the American DVD, but I went along to the screening at the Prince Charles just off Leicester Square because uh, Eddie was doing a and a as well, so I was like, yeah, that was a good, that was a good evening. And then I got my UK copy of the film um, from Virgin, um, I think the big one, well actually that doesn't exist anymore, does it? Um, Virgin stores at all? Weird. Yeah, but then um, Eddie again. Eddie was doing um, an actual signing, um, and I got. I didn't buy it straight away then, but I got it like later on. So I actually took my American copy along, and he goes, "This isn't the uh, regular one." I said, "No, no, it's, it's the American one I've had for a while." And he goes, "Oh, okay, fair enough." And you know, that was that was nice. So yeah, um, I've met Eddie a couple of times. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, it's a good film. I like it, but I, it's it's one of the few films that I saw on video DVD, you know, before I actually saw it on the big screen. Um, a couple of others significant you can think of is obviously Back to the Future. Um, I was old enough when the first one came out, but we didn't go to see it at the cinema, I just saw it on video. Uh, two and three I saw at the cinema, but not the first one until the anniversary. And then uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I um, saw that, um, yeah, because it did come out before I was born, so I saw that, like, I saw it on TV or DVD or whatever, and then they did the re-release on the 4K thing, and I was like, wow, that was amazing, it looked amazing on the big screen. So there's, there's a couple of films, you know, for various different reasons, usually for anniversary re-releases, 
um, that you know then I get to see them on the big screen afterwards. Um, so yeah, so that's that's my um, pre-question waffle for the day. Um, let us see what the actual question is, shall we? Da -da -da. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Um, this is actually perfect timing. What's your favourite way to spend a Sunday? Write all the details for your perfect day. Um, well, I get up when I get up. I make myself scrambled egg on toast. And then I just chill out. I, you know, I work... Because even on days, and like all last week I did five days. So even on weekdays when I'm not working... Um, I try and do something. I'll, I'll try and work on a project, or I'll, you know, I've been trying to download some ebooks and stuff. I will try to be active and do something, and, and try and be vaguely productive. Um, on Sunday, I don't even worry about that. Sunday is my do nothing days, and um, yeah. So today, I have just been watching movies, and I've actually been um, okay. So I've got these. Um, someone at work found. And I said, oh, I'll have those because I need them for my um, DVD cases. Um, yeah, so they, as it is, it only holds six. Because um, you've got these dividers, because it goes either way, so you can do either DVDs or, or CDs. So what I have been doing is um, grabbing my um, pliers, and you can see that I've been taking out the uh, dividers. Which means my hand has been hurting. So technically today I have been doing something. Um, let me trim that a bit more. So today I have actually been kind of productive. It's been called um, whacking bits of blue plastic everywhere. Productive. Uh, see that? That's all the thingy. Whiteboard box. So yeah. Um, my my ideal Sunday. I don't need to write a list. But my ideal Sunday is get up, have make my scrambled egg on toast. Um, obviously chill out with himself if he's not already out and about doing stuff like today he was um in london oh yeah, it was the jewish museum which is fair enough it's not something that's ever interested me i'm not that i'm not interested in you know jewish or any other cultural history it's just that it hadn't really occurred to me to go to that museum if i was i'm one of i'm more a person who like unless there's a particular display or something i i mean i'm not saying i haven't gone to the museums um, but like, you know, it's, I do it, I do do it as a planned trip for like the big ones. Um, but the little ones are really more of an incidental thing. It's like, oh, so we're going to, to do a thing like, I don't know, we're going to go see a play or something. And then, okay, so what else can we do in the meantime? Should we make a day of it? All right, let's see what's about. Mm. That kind of thing. So, and I don't, I don't go looking for the more obscure museums out there. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do more stuff like that, but yeah. But yeah, today, um, yeah, just get up, chill out, maybe spend some time with themselves. I usually watch like a load of YouTube videos, but I'm trying to cut that down because I'm realizing I'm watching a lot. I was trying to find something in my history that I was scrolling for ages and I still couldn't find it. Um, let's just see my likes. The likes um, preclude the history to like you know, is it put in a separate list? I don't know. I'll look. Um, so yeah, so um. Getting up, scrambled egg on toast, um, doing my shizzle on my tablet, um, and just vegging and doing as little as possible. Um, today, actually, I've been more productive because I've been doing the uh, doing this, and then um, put all the washing up away. But otherwise, yeah, I've been pretty chill. So yeah, my my ideal Sunday is. As little as possible, <laughs> you know, hanging out, you know, chatting with friends. If, if if you know Adam's available, we can hang out and chat and do stuff, and that's fine. But um, otherwise, Sunday is my do nothing day. My um, sit around and chill out and watch films and not feel guilty about it because I've worked for the rest of the week. I've done stuff. Um, so yeah, I've not, I've never been a churchy person, even if I was religious. Maybe if I were religious, I might be churchy, but no, I've never done anything like that. I think the last time I went to church was somebody's wedding. So uh, there you go. That's that's my Sunday. 
Um, and my preamble happens to time with the question. That almost never happens. So yay! Uh, anyway, I have a Twitter if you want to follow it. It says Phoenix11. It's, it's in the description as well. Um, meanwhile, I still haven't found these glasses. They're down the back somewhere. But yeah, so um, thanks for listening to my ramble today. Um, I appreciate it. As you can see, I have washed my hair. It's a lot shinier and floppier. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!